Hello everyone, uh, we're back with 13 Sentinels. We did the prologue, so I'm guessing this is now possibly chapter one. All right. So we can now uh, follow Fuyusaka's uh, story. <laughs> Illustrations are beautiful, aren't they? Heading to school. I'm late. With a I'm late. Piece of toast in their mouth. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Almost there. Wow. Ow. Ow. Hey, you all right? Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. That's obvious. Oh, look at the cat up in the left corner. Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. That seems to crop did up she a drop lot. this? Yes, she did. A student ID. First year, Naori Fuyusaka. Hmm. Might be worth looking into. Probably. Sleepyhead? She's always sleepy. You are sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yes. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Oh, dear. Um, you think so? Maybe. Let's just have a look. So, Tomi? Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Kamiko Sawatari. chans my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Yes, we got that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we got What them. is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. Oh, he wasn't that He wasn't cute. wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Okay, so talk some Shall more. we walk home together? 
I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Okay, crepe seems to be a thing. Just checking quickly that there's nothing else to do around here. Nobody else to talk to. They're sort of just like cutouts, aren't they? You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night... I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai... Are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Oops. Teacher? Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't! Okay. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. They think that's old. <laughs> um, so we're already getting hints and messages about time frames, something going back to the war. Uh, have you also noticed that the scenes have very unusual color and lighting. It's it's very beautifully done, but all in these sort of ochre golden tones, and it lends the whole scene an almost eerie or unreal aspect. I think I don't know. That's how it strikes me. But uh, I'd be interested to hear whether you feel the same way about it. Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Well, I saw a cat too. I wonder if it's the same one. So... This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Okay. 
and the others we have looked at. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. And as we all know, cats can mysteriously walk between different timelines. Uh huh. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Fuyusaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? <laughs> Don't mind oh. me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. Oh, dear. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought... Class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Hmm, I only got three mystery files. Maybe I missed something somewhere? I try to be careful in exhausting all conversation possibilities. That's interesting. I'm seeing this for the first time. I just quickly want to show you the manual. 
um, because I'm not usually a fan of electronic manuals and I find them often not very well done and not easy to read but this one is actually pretty good and there we have the cat So it's pretty much like a, a printed manual would be, and it's nicely laid out. So if you want to, you know, find anything, refresh your memory, I feel this is actually a good manual. So here we see a little bit about the, the battle objectives, which indicate quite clearly uh, that you have to complete defensive maneuvers to protect the terminals. However, sometimes you have to take offensive tactics, it says. So there's a mixture there, but at the moment I feel it's going to be more defensive. And here we have the stage selection. So there's a lot of good information there. So we have episode 2 available. I assume that episode 1 was that first tutorial um, battle short battle we had. So this looks like it's still part of the tutorial, uh, episode 2, so I think we better take a look at that. Systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. 
Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama. And this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okinokun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. Ooh. Okay. He cut off his comms. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. <sighs> we made it. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I basically just winged it. I still don't have a clear idea of what each particular weapon does, but um, it, it seems to work out pretty easily most of the time. Anyway, we made it. Uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is available and that should be very interesting because he came on very strongly. I'll leave it here for now, end of this particular segment, and in the next one we'll have a look at Takatoshi's story. Thank you for watching. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye bye. <laughs>